Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here, as always, is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I'm going to actually share something from a viewer. Now, I did ask for permission to share this. Sometimes I get emails or really great comments on the YouTube videos, and this one I thought was extremely poignant. So it's not just about the person this person connected with, but it's about you and understanding for you that you, it is totally possible for you to channel. It is totally possible for you to get messages and information. And it just really takes some patience with yourself and the opportunity to soften the resistance that you might have about receiving that information. The not feeling good enough, not feeling special enough, all of the excuses, all of the things that the thoughts and the mind create that resist you from actually receiving, believing that you, you can receive information, okay? so. This is a beautiful example. I asked for permission right away to share this. This was actually shared in a Facebook group that I, I, I host. And so I just, I was so moved by it. I thought this is gonna help a lot of you guys and encourage you guys to consistently and continue to allow yourself the opportunity to practice connection. And you do that by creating a practice, as in journaling, being open, through meditations, through yoga practices, through understanding your own spiritual development, through wanting to learn about your energy and how it flows and all that. That's what I mean by practice. I don't mean sit down with a pen and, and ask for information and try to receive it. That's not what I mean by practice. I mean a practice of energy flow, a practice of being a receiver, a practice of releasing resistance so that you can receive. So. Here is what was shared with me. Okay, so I printed it out so you guys can, I can speak her exact words. So again, this was shared on a Facebook group that I manage. So this is still new to me and I'm just opening up to it. I didn't expect what just happened. I just finished watching Black Panther and the tears flowed freely as I expected. That's when I heard Chadwick Boseman tell me to stop crying. Then I saw him and he was smiling at me, beaming. He said, I did exactly what I was meant to do, so don't cry. And that was the message that she received. He spoke with me for a while about how he knew he had to do a lot in a short amount of time. I questioned, why me? Why is he contacting me? Did you guys hear that? She said, she questioned, why me? Why did he, is he contacting me? Does that sound familiar to you? Mm -hmm. And he said, we're the same age and that I'm open to receiving. So she was open to receiving. I think the age thing was because a common understanding of life experience for our generation. He knew he had to make these films, he said. He knew the impact they would have for decades to come. And that's why he wasn't going to let cancer slow him down. He was so content and happy. He wanted me to help people see, to see that and be an ally for those who need it. I thanked him for trusting me and I told him I was a little surprised and overwhelmed and that I needed to go. He laughed and said, I get it, you weren't expecting me. Thanks for listening, get some rest now. So the person who received this message, she, she goes on to share just briefly that I'm just processing and I needed to share this with people who didn't think this is crazy. I've been able to channel for a while, but this was a whole nother level and completely unexpected. So that was the uh, communication that one of you had that shared with all of us about connecting to spirit in the afterlife. 
Specifically, this was from Chadwick Boseman. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that amazing? I hope it inspires you. It doesn't take a lot. It, it really, connection is so natural, you guys. It's not supernatural, it's natural. And, and the only reason why, why people don't do it all the time is because they aren't aware that they're actually already doing it all the time. That's what intuition is. But more so, I think it's, it's just the mind, the way we've been um, sort of formed, the way that we've, we've, we've created a common understanding about how, how life is supposed to be and, and what our roles are in it and what we do and what our identities are and all that. I think there's a lot in the mind that creates some resistance or barriers to fully being a receiver of information that isn't from like, a, a book or a, a what we consider an expert or in an environment where we're learning like in, in school or, or in a, um, a, a, a structured kind of a setting. Like I think partly because of the information that comes through, it is so just really wrapped with love and there's no conditioning around it, the information that comes in. And the way it, it comes, it seems so unfamiliar in, in so many ways, like what we're used to in the mind, that the mind has a hard time trying to accept and just allow it to happen without trying to block it by old belief systems, old patterns, old things we were taught, like in school or at church or whatever it might be. And but it's not as deep as you think, like you don't have to dig out all your own value system and totally change your belief system. You can just receive information that is loving at any point in time. You just like this viewer said, you, you just, she was open, she was open. And what helped her to be open? You guys, come on, you know this. If you've watched Above Life Channel, what helps you to be open? Your heart, your heart. It's that simple. It really is. And it does take practice. It does take practice, which is looks like a lot of different things. It could look like yoga. It could look like eating healthy. It could look like journaling. It could look like doing, um, reading um, some spiritual development or self-help books that inspire you, open you up. It could be doing your own healing work, dealing with past traumas. It could be doing that, like working with a therapist or a counselor. It could clear the heart space and open you up in a way where you feel worthy to receive. Because one of the biggest resistance points from what I've experienced with clients and mentoring people in this capacity has been that, the feeling of worthiness. Why me? Why have you chose me? And I can totally attest to that because when I first opened up to my spiritual gifts, Archangel Michael was the first spirit guide that I heard. And I could not believe that he was an angel because I wasn't, I wasn't like an avid churchgoer or anything like that. When I was growing up, I wasn't raised in the church, just with grandma and grandpa taking me every once in a while. And so the whole concept of angels to me seemed like it was for people that went to church and for people who were um, very religious and, and very, very um, instructed in the Bible and people who, or people who are like, or people who are dying, people who are in really bad scenarios and just the worst case scenarios, you know, of life. So I didn't realize he was an angel. And at first it was a while, a, a couple of weeks before I realized, I think maybe even a month before I realized. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he was. <laughs> I was like, uh, what? So there's a, I mean, it just takes that desire to connect and that openness in your heart and the practice, which is the willingness to show up consistently. That's what practice is, right? Willing to show up consistently, to try. That's what practicing is about. It's about trying. It's not about getting it right, getting it perfect, doing the certain way. You find your own way. I just really want to encourage you to use your own intuition to channel for yourself. It's not spooky or creepy or freaky. You don't need intensive tools to try to channel. You, you don't have to have any special technique or any kind of certifications or training to do it. It's natural, it's completely natural. It taps into your intuition. It flows with your energy and it really is heart-based. And so I hope that 
Thank you to the viewer who shared this with me. I appreciate it with the permission to share, and I hope it encourages you, each one of you as well. All right. So this is Bridget. Thanks so much for joining us at Above Life Channel. The purpose here is always to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope and to encourage you to live your life. It's your life after all. This is your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for being here. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you never miss new videos that come out. Thanks for being here.